so good, it's dripping on wood. Get a ride in that engine that could go. Batman robbing it, bang bang cocking it, Queen Nikki dominant, prominent. Okay, so the video that you're about to watch right now, it is a sub video about the about maybe the F1 night race event. So I'm gonna bring it to you around. So this is the sub video of the vlog. Sub vlog video or whatever you like to call it. So yeah, so let's go. Okay, so for this video right here, uh, you'll be seeing a uh, first person point of view. And right here, let me just go through with you about the, and here are, because as I said, the F1 road shows. So here are a bit of the, you know, the fun facts about the F1. So let's go through. Let's start from the flags and signs first. So here are the F1 roadshow event. So it's very useful. This this board here they show you uh, very good information from chocolate flag to blue flag to red flag to green flag, yellow and red strip uh, striped flag, uh, single yellow flag, double yellow flag, white flag, black and white diagonal flag, black flag, and black with orange disc flag. So this are the information. Uh, I think most of the time during the race you would see blue flag uh, and of course maybe like green flag and uh, single yellow flag. Yeah. So single yellow flag means drivers are to actually slow down. So they're like you know they, they, they are slowing down but they are still sort of like they are I'm sorry they are slowing down because there's danger ahead. And then for double yellow flag which means that there is a I think there should be a safety car, correct, safety car for this one that is coming out during the race. And then you have the green flag that is when the race is all cleared after the after the yellow flags as well. And red flag is when the race is being stopped during the race. And of course blue flag is when the back markers are, you know, are, are like taking sort of like taking the lead of the whole race, which is very uh is very inconsiderate during the race, of course, for the back markers. All right, and down here we can see the uh, information of the F1 track circuit because this is the fastest lap set by Daniel Ricciardo here in 2016, one minute 47.187 seconds. So it's actually pretty, so it's actually pretty fast. And here are the range of tires for the F1 race event, ranging from ultra soft, super soft, soft, intermediate, and wet. So intermediate and wet is only when the racetrack, of course, it's slightly wet. And then it, when it gets drier, it goes from soft and then slowly goes down to ultra soft or super soft. But they will gamble in between and uh, hopefully it won't be a wet race. So if it's a wet race, then it's because we as audience will get wet. So there are 23 turns in the F1 race. So this is where the, uh, the F1 peak building is and then they go around the Marina Bay, the beautiful uh, Marina Bay. Yeah. All right. So this is the 2017 FIA F1 Championship down here. Because they started from the Australia, slowly going into China, Bahrain, Russia, Spain, and then Monaco, and so on and so forth, all the way until Singapore. And then after that, after Singapore, it's Malaysia, Japanese, and then the United States, Mexico, uh, Brazil, and then uh, Abu Dhabi. And there are 20 races in total. And I think Singapore should be the... Alright, if, if I'm not wrong, if I calculate properly, Singapore should be the 17th. Sorry, no, I think it's the 13th. Yeah, it's the 13th race track on the F1 calendar. It's, it's either 13 or 14, somewhere there. And then right here, it's all the F1 teams, the different F1 teams. And then we have uh, Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull Racing, uh, Force India, it's pink color this year. And then of course McLaren, Honda took the orange color theme. Because orange and black theme, and then Toro Rosso has F1 team from America. Sauber F1 team, Ronald, uh, Renault, Renault Sport Formula 1 team and uh, Williams uh, Martini Racing team uh, of course they are running the Mercedes engine if I'm not wrong, this Sauber should be 
should be Mercedes. Sorry, it's actually Force India. Sorry, yeah. So Force India, Mercedes, Williams, Mercedes. So Mercedes, Petronas, Mercedes. Yeah. Because it is the fun fact about the F1 car. So this is the F1 car in 2017 versus the 2016. So right down here, the 2016 F1 car, it's uh, slightly shorter. I mean, in terms of the body kit. And 2017 is wider, so it's more stable. So right down here, of course, the 2016 F1 car, you can see the tire differential. It's 325mm and the 2017 car, it's 405mm. And of course, the body kit is slightly wider. You can see the front wing and the rear, and of course, the front wing as well, the rear wing and the rear wing as well. Uh, overall weight for 2017, of course, when it's expanded out, it's slightly heavier. It's 728 kg and 722 kg here. So these are the tire compounds that are going to bring into Singapore. And of course they show you the durability and the gap as well and of course the wet tires and the dry tires. Okay, this is a really cool fun fact about racing. So as you can see, F1, I quite like the DRS system, but it's only on a certain area in the track. So as for Singapore, it's only in the start to the end of the F1 track. And after start to the end of the F1 track, there's another long straight around Marina Square area. So it's all the way straight down and then there's another DRS zone for them. So this is the downforce of the aerodynamic of the car. Because they explain to you about the apex and the chicane, so they are two different things. And I want my favorite during the race as I watch race F1 race on TV. Lock up, actually just go in straight. It's like you know drifting, and you can see smoke out of the F1 tires. So that is when tires are actually degenerating, and that is when team actually gambles in between different tire choices. And when team gambles in between tire choices, and when it's time to pit. The first thing they would say, it's box, box, box. So as you know, box, 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 it refers to pit box. So this is amazing information for drivers or for, I don't know, for maybe non-drivers who also watch F1 also. So there's an oversteer and there's an understeer. So oversteer means they actually steer it oversteer. So they went and sort of like cut through the corner. And then understeer means they went out of Corner. They didn't went near the corner, so it's slightly out of the corner. And uh, other useful information about the F1 race. So, yeah. And this is the information of a uh, typical weekend race, a uh, typical F1 weekend race. So, the practice session, there are three practice sessions over here 90 minutes, 90 minutes, and followed by a 60 minutes race. And then qualifying session, it's about one hour, because in between there are breaks as well. So it's 18 minutes, all cars, 15 minutes, top 15, and then the 12 minutes, you have the top 10 cars coming in. And it'll be, and for this Singapore race track, it'll be 305 kilometers race, 61 laps, of course, 120 minutes, uh, about two hours. And as you go along, this is the point system in the F1, FIA F1 standard point system, first place and all the way under 10th place. You can pause this video to actually look through the whole thing if you want. And moving on. This is the new pit stop system. So this new pit stop system is actually without the uh, without the refueling of oil. So as time goes by, there's no oil refueling. So it's just changing the tires or changing any parts and pieces on the F1 car itself. Oh, and here is the F1 booth or the F1 road show and. Down here, you can see the lineups for the acts and the performance, the after race party, and of course, maybe like in between races party. So, yeah. Calvin Harris on Sunday. Bill on Sunday. Ron on Sunday. George the Poet on Sunday. If you got anything, any opinions to share? about Singapore F1 Street Circuit, you can comment down below.
And of course, if you really like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have subscribed to the channel, thank you very much. If you have liked a few videos also, thank you very much also. Uh, yeah, so of course, uh, share this uh, a video as well and share the channel link with your friends. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys again in the other next episode or the upcoming vlog. I do not know when vlog is going to come, but hopefully it's going to be interesting and it's, yeah, it's better and better. So yeah, thank you very much.